Hello everyone, welcome to Hunter Gatherer Cooking. Welcome to part two of my second Scottish tour up here. I've been to stay with David and Deanne from The Stalking Show and shot a, uh, a red stag, which was fantastic. And I'm now on my way to see Peter, the outdoor gibbon, who's got a fantastic podcast. And then I'll be heading down towards Dundee eventually in part three. So sit back, enjoy the journey, and hopefully you enjoy this video. If you are, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thanks for coming, Alex. It's nice to see you. Uh, you stay with me for a few days. So this afternoon, we're going to go out for a roast stalk. Um, we're going to be using an old TKR M6, M595, actually. Uh, my Optoscope, it's a 223. Uh, it's got a very nice... Um, Deer central sling on it, and we are going to go and see what we can get. Get loaded up now, and we'll get ourselves into the woods. Sometimes the deer, there's a little clump of trees up here. We've seen deer in there before. Not necessarily saying they're gonna be there tonight, but we'll try everywhere. That's quite fresh. We're gonna go back through the woods and down the other ride onto the other side onto that deer lord and see if there's deer are out there. So, obviously this is a three-point sling, which as you can see, the rifle sits perfectly vertical. Uh, this one's actually from Ben at Deer Central. Uh, it's a fantastic piece of kit because it basically keeps you completely stable, hands-free. I can hold both sticks. Obviously we're using the Viperflex sticks, but when we get into the deer or we want to move through something like this bit of forestry we're going to move into, this sling has an added pad that Ben's created which allows me to go back to my favourite method of carrying a rifle, which is butt down. I can have done my head. So as I move through the trees, there's nothing to get caught or anything like that. The two go hand in hand.
exactly where we want it to go. So obviously, fur is a good indicator that there's a there's a hit on that deer. Um, deer was standing about here, the bullet struck it. Um, but obviously what we now need to do is follow up and try and find that deer. It, we never heard from him again. Alex. Hello. Did you get the exact moment? Yeah. Do you want to watch it back? I definitely need one of them. What is it again? T2 Pro. So Pete's still looking for the deer. He's gone in with the thermal now. Um, it's probably a good time to say, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate that. And if you're feeling really generous, there are some membership options, which really help me uh, get a little bit further and cover some of the costs. Make sure you ring the bell and uh, hopefully Pete will come out with a deer. So Pete's just told me to go back to the gate. I wonder if he's got good news. Hang on, I can hear him. Yes. Well done, mate. Straight, Lit literally straight in. Straight in where it went. Top work. As I said, the shot was low. Uh, yeah, poor marksmanship probably on my behalf, but at the end of the day, we have a deer. Uh, happy days. Right, we've got some light. Let's just uh, get this one back to the motor quickly and we'll see if we can get, uh, get you on one. Spot on. Reload. So using the thermal, we've just found a case and... And there's your deer. Just, just lying out there. Should we go get it? Yep, let's go get it. Yep, we've got a load in here. He's dead. You drag him home then. Right. 